Last week I made healthier homemade Oreos and some of you asked me to make another recipe using these cookies as a base. So today I'm going to make this chocolate cream pie from scratch and here I actually use two of the recipes I have on the channel. It's already mentioned Oreos which I use for the pie crust and homemade chocolate pudding for creamy and delicious pie filling. This is definitely a chocolate treat but with a healthier twist and for pie crust I'm using a food processor to make these dark cookie crumbs. Just place all of the cookies in the bowl and process for one minute. When I see extra fine crumbs I drizzle in just two tablespoons melted butter and also some sugar free apple sauce. Then I pour this cookie crumb mixture into a pie plate or any other baking pan and press firmly with a spoon and with my hands into the bottom and sides of the pan. I like to bake my crust for 8 to 10 minutes just to firm it up a bit and make sure it won't crumble and fall apart. While the crust is cooling down, let's make the second layer which is homemade chocolate pudding. I never use instant pudding and making a pudding from scratch is easier than you think, so it's definitely worth the effort. I just combine quarter cup cocoa powder, some salt and 3 tablespoons cornstarch. This is what thickens the pie filling. Now gently pour in 2 cups of milk, whisk 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 and add quarter cup maple syrup or any other liquid sweetener. Then I bring this to a simmer, whisking frequently and when it starts to bubble let it cook for a minute or two until the mixture is thick. Remove from the heat and I add extra dark chocolate to the filling to make it rich and chocolatey and I stir well until completely melted. The crust is ready, the filling is still hot and smooth and I quickly pour everything all over the cookie crust and gently shake the pan evenly to distribute the filling and I don't have to smooth with spatula at all, but have to do this quickly. Then I place a piece of plastic wrap directly onto the filling just to prevent forming a skin on top. Cool to room temperature and in the fridge it goes for a couple of hours or best overnight until the filling is set and the pie is ready to be sliced. As you can see this chocolate pie holds its shape so well when cut into it and still it's really smooth and creamy in texture. If you don't mind some extra calories Top each slice with homemade whipped cream or spoonful of Greek yogurt, it's up to you. I love everything about this recipe, it's easy to make, it's intense in flavor and let me put it simple, this healthier pie makes all of my chocolate dreams come true. But if you need something chocolatey and you need it now, make this super quick brownie in a mug. It's made with a few simple ingredients and will satisfy your chocolate craving all the time. Check out that recipe now. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. Stay healthy, stay happy.